Today we are going to talk about how the solar system formed and its age. Not only about the planets, why planets are round, how planets are named. What is a solar system? The solar system is the sun and everything that orbits around it. It includes the planets and their moons as well as numerous asteroids and comets. These objects are all held in orbit around the sun by the sun's strong gravity. Our solar system has the sun and all the planets in our solar system. How old is the solar system? Astronomers believe that the solar system is about 4.6 billion years old. They have determined this age in part by studying meteorites. About 4.6 billion years ago, a giant cloud of dust and gas known as the solar nebula collapsed in on itself and began to form what would eventually become the solar system's sun and planets. Astronomers believe that meteors formed at the same time as the rest of the solar system from a cloud of dust and gas. When meteors fall to Earth as meteorites, a technique called radioactive dating can be used to calculate how old they are. Astronomers also believe the Sun is about middle-aged, which means it should continue to shine for about another 5 billion years. What is the order of the planets in the solar system? The answer is Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Our solar system has eight planets which orbit the Sun. In order of distance from the Sun they are, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Pluto, which until recently was considered to be the farthest planet, is now classified as a dwarf planet. Additional dwarf planets have been discovered farther from the Sun than Pluto. Some asteroids are also dwarf planets. Why are all the planets round? A planet is round because of gravity. A planet's gravity pulls equally from all sides. Gravity pulls from the center to the edges like the spokes of a bicycle wheel. This makes the overall shape of a planet a sphere, which is a three-dimensional circle. When our solar system was forming, gravity gathered billions of pieces of gas and dust into clumps which grew larger and larger to become the planets. The force of the collision of these pieces caused the newly forming planets to become hot and molten. The force of gravity pulled this molten material inwards towards the planet's center into the shape of a sphere. Later, when the planets cooled, they stayed spherical. How many planets in the solar system have rings? The answer is four. Planetary rings are an interesting phenomena. The mere mention of these two words tends to conjure up images of Saturn, with its large and colorful system of rings that form an orbiting disk. But in fact, several other planets in our solar system have rings. They are the three giant gas planets Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune. Saturn, which has by far the largest ring system, was known to have rings for a long time. It was not until the 1970s that rings were discovered around the other gas planets. The rings around Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune are much smaller, darker, and fainter than the rings of Saturn. Rings around gas giants are thought to be transient over the lifetime of the planetary system. That is, if we had lived at a very different time, perhaps we would not see big rings around Saturn, but another one of the gas giants. How did the planets get their names? All of the planets, except for Earth, were named after Greek and Roman gods and goddesses. Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, Venus and Mercury were given their names thousands of years ago. The other planets were not discovered until much later, after telescopes were invented. The tradition of naming the planets after Greek and Roman gods and goddesses was carried on for the other planets discovered as well. Mercury was named after the Roman god of travel. Venus was named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. Mars was the Roman god of war. Jupiter was the king of the Roman gods, and Saturn was the Roman god of agriculture. Uranus was named after an ancient Greek king of the gods. Neptune was the Roman god of the sea. Pluto, which is now classified as a dwarf planet, was the Roman god of the underworld. The name Earth is an English-German name which simply means the ground. 
How do the planets stay in orbit around the sun? Because of the sun's gravity pulls the planet toward the sun. The solar system was formed from a rotating cloud of gas and dust which spun around a newly forming star, our sun, at its center. The planets all formed from this spinning disc-shaped cloud, and continued this rotating course around the sun after they were formed. The gravity of the sun keeps the planets in their orbits. They stay in their orbits because there is no other force in the solar system which can stop them. Which planet spins the fastest and which the slowest? Jupiter is the fastest and Venus is the slowest. Jupiter is the fastest spinning planet in our solar system rotating on average once in just under 10 hours. That is very fast, especially considering how large Jupiter is. This means that Jupiter has the shortest days of all the planets in the solar system. Since Jupiter is a gas planet, it does not rotate as a solid sphere. Jupiter's equator rotates a bit faster than its polar regions at a speed of 28,273 miles hour. Jupiter's day varies from 9 hours and 56 minutes around the poles to 9 hours and 50 minutes close to the equator. Venus is the slowest spinning body in our solar system. While Earth takes 24 hours to complete one spine, our day on Venus would last 5,832 hours. One reason for it is the friction caused by Venus' thick atmosphere and hurricane-speed winds. With a toxic blanket of carbon dioxide, the surface pressure on Venus is 90 times what we experience on Earth at sea level. Which planet has the strongest winds? Neptune has the strongest winds in the solar system. Winds whip clouds of frozen methane across the planet at speeds of more than 1,200 miles per hour. This is close to the top speed of a US Navy F-A-18 Hornet fighter jet. The most powerful winds on Earth reach only about 250 miles per hour. Where is the highest mountain in our solar system? The answer is Mars. The largest volcano on Mars is also the solar system's tallest mountain. Measuring 374 miles in diameter, it covers about the same amount of land as the state of Arizona. Olympus Mons is located near three other volcanoes known as the Tharsis Mantis. Olympus Mons is 16 miles high which makes it about three times higher than MT Everest. Also this mountain is a very flat mountain which slopes by only 2 to 5 degrees. It is a shield volcano built up by eruptions of lava, 